Playtime Co. has created so many different toys. We're going to talk about the dangerous ones we've encountered. There's a lot of them, and we will decide which one is the strongest. Of course, your immediate answer is Prototype, but we'll take him off the list. Because we haven't fought him yet and he's the biggest villain yet, we'll also remove toys that were not independent but subordinate to larger toys. And that leaves us with four contenders, the Huggy, Mommy, Miss Delight, Catnap. And I've identified five main points that you and I will be evaluating them on. These are strength, speed, intelligence, and emotion, stealth, and their specialty. Strength. This is the most basic and simple metric. Let's take a look at the height of each one. Huggy Wuggy is 17 feet or 5 meters. This data is from Wikipedia. Mommy is about 6 feet or 2 meters, but that's when she's crouching. But because of her long limbs, she can stretch out for a very long distance. So I can say with confidence that she can get taller than Huggy. Miss Delight From the VHS tape, The Hour of Joy, we can see that female teachers are about the same height as an adult male, maybe a little taller. Let's take the average male height of 5.91 feet or 180 centimeters. Miss Delight is a little taller, so we'll assume 6 feet or 2 meters. Catnap his height is unconfirmed, so it's hard to compare him to anyone because he hasn't stood next to anyone. Let's assume like Huggy, but a little shorter, 16 feet or 488 centimeters. That's the height data we've got. From this data, we can guess who's the strongest. But it's not just height that shows muscle strength. Let's look at this. At the end of the first chapter, as we were running away from Huggy Wuggy through the vent, we saw a metal door close behind us. He kicks it down. And it didn't just fall next to it, it popped a few meters forward. And it's a steel door that only opens and closes by a button that's connected to the security system. The amount of force it took to not only open the door, but to pull it off its hinges is enormous. As for Mommy, in the Hour of Joy we see a segment where she lifts several employees at once and drops them from a height. Broke a system of pipes, and the material she's made of is very strong, so she's got a lot of strength to compete. Miss Delight looks like a normal girl doesn't have big muscles. She crushes a giant car. She has her barb weapon, which gives her extra strength. Since this weapon gives strength, but she doesn't have any muscles herself, Miss Delight has the smallest strength. Catnap can be seen dragging the player, who also has the weight of a grown man, at the very beginning of the chapter and opening a metal trapdoor to throw us into it. So Catnap has a lot of power as well. I think that Huggy, Mommy, and Catnap have the same strength. Only Miss Delight is inferior to them. Speed To get to the enemy and hit him properly or eat him, you need to get to him. And here we need such a parameter as speed. Let's start with the slowest character, Miss Delight. She only moves when she's not being looked at, and because she has a limp, it slows her down and prevents her from giving her full speed. She has a fast walk. Of course, at the very end, before she dies, she rushes at the player at lightning speed, accelerating sharply to catch up with him. But I think that's what the developers did on purpose so that the door would fall right on her. After all, the acceleration occurs after we pull the lever, and if you just stand and wait, it will move as before. That's why Miss Delight takes the honorable last place in speed. Next up is the Huggy Wuggy. I ranked him third fastest, and because of his height, because of the length of his limbs, he has trouble moving fast. We see him walking during the attack on us, slow and leisurely, but in the vent, he accelerates. He's activating his hunting phase, and he's running hard and fast after us, very, very fast. Mommy Longlegs has the same speed as Huggy. She too walks calmly, moves around, and calmly observes all games. In the last kill phase, she attacks the player with high speed like Huggy. You can especially see this in the last hallway when we put our blue hand to open the door. She rushes at us so fast that she can't stop and crashes into a device, which then chews her up and kills her. But that's not the only reason I put her higher on my list than Huggy. It's because of her limbs. She can use them to fly a huge distance while the others will run. And the fastest of the antagonists is Catnap. You may not agree with me on this one. Throughout Chapter 3, he is shown leisurely watching us, walking and moving around. We must not forget that Catnap is a cat by nature, and cats always behave this way, with their prey. But I'll tell you about that a little later. He appears and abruptly disappears at certain moments. It happens very abruptly and quickly. 
Cats sitting still can attack with tremendous speed, and since Catnap is a cat, the power of his initial speed from the start can reach significant results. He can outrun Mommy Long Legs too, with her long arms and legs, while she reaches for an object, grabs on, and moves her body to another point. Catnap is already in another place precisely because of his ability to get off to a fast start. And he's very skinny. Look at the bones. So he's underweight. Intelligence and emotions. Strategy during battle or hunting. The ability to control your emotions. The ability to keep cool in difficult and tense moments. This is the key to a successful victory. Huggy Wuggy. At the beginning, he stands motionless, welcoming us into the factory, an unremarkable toy. Throughout the factory, he follows us, peeking out every step and watching. He only attacks at the very end. Standard strategy, but this is where his emotions failed him. He couldn't contain them, his hunger, it got the better of him, and he lost control. So he got careless, kicked in the door, decided to pounce, didn't see us break the bridge where he fell. Mommy Long Legs is like Huggy in that way, emotionally, but she just wanted to destroy us for winning her games. She couldn't take it at the very end, and she exploded, and she missed a lot of things. For example, when we were hanging from the top, she would run from side to side without finding us. Although the light from a flashlight is always visible, especially in a dark space, and you can easily find the direction it's coming from. The second example is when we hide from her in the oven closing the doors behind us. Also, we are given away by the light of the lantern, because through the slits it can be seen, and the oven is not working. And the third example, she runs at us so fast that she didn't see the car and didn't have time to break, which is why she ends up dead, like Huggy. Throughout the second chapter, she was playing a game with us, communicating with us. She had a plan to destroy us, and she also had little minions to do her dirty work. Her strategy was more interesting than just tracking us down and attacking us. What I will say about the one toy that definitely has knowledge, intelligence, and a clear ability to contain emotions is Miss Delight. She teaches children. We can immediately recognize her level of intelligence from the cardboard sign. She has knowledge, especially in the field of anatomy. Her ability to keep her emotions under control is quite high, because a class full of children, you need to constantly focus their attention. We also know from notes found at the school that Miss Delight has killed and eaten other teachers. She developed her own unique strategy, red light, green light. She pretended to be dead when people looked at her and didn't move, didn't even move her eyes, and attacked her victim when she turned away. An easy and simple strategy, but very difficult to execute, where you have to have patience. You may say, no, that's not true, because at the very end, she quickly started running at us and she died because of it. I will answer you that yes, it is but the developers are at fault here. Look, she starts running fast when we press the handle, but if we don't do anything, she calmly at her own pace keeps coming at us without increasing her speed. That's why the developers did it, so that Miss Delight would be dead. Why did they do that? I guess we will find out further in the next chapters. Write in the comments what you think about it. Catnap, discreet, intelligent, cunning. While the protagonist ran, Catnap watched from the sidelines. His feline strategy is obvious, stalk, intimidate, wait for the right moment, and attack at the very end. But that wasn't the case. Catnap was driven by a thirst for survival. He is under the influence of prototype, serving it to live as long as possible. During the final battle, Catnap didn't just attack us like the other toys who were tired of our victories. He just as calmly, patiently approached us. And of course, in this respect, he delayed his game with us a bit, which ruined him. Also, because of his skill, his strategy of intimidating us with hallucinations is decent, and of them all, in terms of intelligence and emotion. I want to single out not Catnap, but Miss Delight, because she was pretty much hard and intense to deal with. I think she's the one who deserves the credit. She's smart, she's reserved, she's patient, she's tactful, even though she was ruined by the developers. Stealth on this point, everything is very obvious. We will not dwell on it long. Undoubtedly, Catnap will win in this item. Since he is a cat, this skill is built into him as a foundation. He is constantly watching us. Everywhere we are, he watches from some dark corner. And yet he knows how to hide quickly. We can see him, but it's done on purpose. It's part of his strategy to keep us in suspense. But we never know exactly where he is. And Catnap shows up in unexpected places. 
Huggy's a lot like him. It also sticks out either from a door or in a factory peeking out from somewhere and will attack unexpectedly, but he loses to catnap in this skill. Mommy Longlegs has good stealth thanks to her flexible limbs, her spider-like ability to hide on high. In the final battle, she suddenly appears in different corners. You don't know where to expect her from. Even when she jumps out at the player, how could we know she would be there? And the most non-secretive character who wants us to see her is Miss Delight. She just doesn't need it because her play-dead strategy is completely opposite from the others, and being stealthy will only hinder her. A special skill. It's all individualized here, and I think everyone chooses what they like best. Huggy, tall, long, bloodthirsty, has very sharp teeth that tear their prey to pieces, and has quite a bit of strength. Can't say there are any unique abilities of his own. Light and simple, but most importantly, practical. Mommy has long legs and arms to help grab a target from the shadows, to move long distances, be in one place, and do something in another. Miss Delight, she has a homemade weapon, gives her strength, power. She also has sharp, human-like teeth, tears body parts apart like a rock, inadequate, insane. That's not something I'd want to own. Catnap, sharp claws, and of course, red smoke that causes hallucinations, makes the victim see and hear things that aren't really there can enter the head and manipulate the enemy. The only defense against it is Gas Mask. In my opinion, this is the most unusual and interesting ability. Well, and here's what my list of who's stronger and who's weaker looks like. We've gone over the main factors with you. Now you can decide for yourself who is more sympathetic to you and in what aspects. You may or may not agree with me. Write in the comments what you think about it. What's your list of strong characters? What's the next topic you want to tackle? Move on to the next video by clicking on it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a like and a bell. This will help the channel. Bye, everybody.